Hi again then guys, and so we've got another Special Projects replica style build for you today, and this time it's a replica of the number 132 Team Schumann Racing Hyundai Genesis, which is a Nuremberg Ring N24 endurance racing car. It's a pretty cool car in real life. In real life it's actually a combination of blue and kind of silver-ish white. On the game I've just gone for yellow because of course we don't have a livery editor. As far as colour, just go for whatever you want basically. Technically blue would probably be the most similar, but it's still not that similar. So, as always I'll show you initially what I've done to get the visual look of the car, which of course isn't exactly the same as the real thing, but it's pretty good overall. We have some pretty decent custom upgrades for the Hyundai Genesis. Then, of course, we'll go over to the tuning garage for the mechanical setup and finally take it out to the Nuremberg Ring to see how it performs. So, for the visual look on this particular model, we've gone for the Type A body kit. You can, of course, go for the carbon kit, but the Type A body kit is the most accurate to the actual Team Schumann racing car. There is no flat floor, which is kind of a shame. For the rear wing, we've gone for a custom wing. We've gone for the Type A wing support the Type B wing itself, and then Type A winglets with the maximum width and a height of plus five. So not quite on the maximum there, because I didn't want the wing to look silly. As far as the rims, we've gone for the standard size, because you don't see racing cars with big rims. And we've gone for the BBS LMRs, which are pretty similar, actually, to most N24 racing car style rims. As far as additional meters, obviously choose whatever you personally want to use. You could go for a turbo gauge, etc. But I've gone for water temp, oil temp, and a fuel gauge. And then for the exact colors, they are 216, 80, and 100 to get that particular blue. As far as the colors of the car itself, it is, of course, yellow. And you can go for whatever color you want, of course. But the particular yellow is a solid yellow. And this yellow that I've used is called Dandelion Yellow, which you can get from the Mitsubishi Evo 3. And there it is, Dandelion Yellow. As I said, you can get that from Mitsubishi's Evo 3. As far as the rims, we've gone for a type of black, which I use on quite a few of my replicas. And that is Phantom Black, which you can get from the Chaparral Vision GT car. You don't have to use that black, of course. And we've gone for that same black for the brakes as well and the same yellow for the wing. So, let's now go over to the tuning garage for the mechanical setup. Now, as far as the mechanical setup on this particular model, as you can see, we sit quite nicely at 525 pp. We've got 454 horsepower, which is the power of the real car, 1350 kilos, which is roughly the weight of the real car. So, I've gone for racing soft tires, for the suspension, you want your ride height as low as possible. Springs, we've increased up to 13, 25 and 12, 75. Dampers to 5, anti-roll all the way up to 7. Camber on 3 with neutral toe. For the gearbox, we've got an auto setting of 180. Then for the individual gears, we've got 3.6, 2450, 1800, 1400, 1125 and 9.25 with a final drive of 2.8. Those aren't actually the real gears of the Team Schumann Genesis. If you want those, of course, you could research that, but I've made it more Gran Turismo relevant because, of course, the speeds on Gran Turismo aren't accurate to real life. As far as the diff, we've gone for the lowest initial torque, the highest acceleration, and a break-in sensitivity of 15. As far as power, you've actually got two options because you can get 454 horsepower out of this car at only the 518 pp level. So if you do want that to be a lower pp with the same spec, essentially, then don't fit the sports computer, or the sports cat, or the high range turbo, or the intake tuning. If I remember correctly, it's those four things. Without those four, you can still put out, obviously with a higher power limiter, 454 horsepower at the 518 pp level but the advantage of the way that i've done it which is adding these parts and then restricting it more is you end up with the same power so it's just as accurate but you get that power at a more relevant pp because 525 is nicer and more rounded off than 518 but you also get a higher red line which 
when working with the power limiter means that you get your peak power at a lower RPM and most importantly, arguably, you get significantly more torque when adding these extra upgrades and then limiting the engine because the power limiter doesn't really affect torque that much. So you produce far more torque with this method than if you just don't fit the parts. But obviously you have to decide for yourself. Downforce we've got to the maximum, which isn't that high unfortunately on the custom wings. We've got the full weight loss package and a 104 kilo ballast put all the way to the rear to bring us up to the actual weight of the car and closer to that 50-50 split. So that's it for the overall mechanical replica of the car. So now let's finally take it out to the green hell to see how it performs. Now overall I'm a huge fan personally of the Hyundai Genesis, it's one of my favourite imports. I personally prefer the pre-facelift model though, the last generation coupe, but as it turns out it makes an excellent Nuremberg Ring class racing car. Now obviously it's not technically a racing car, but it looks the part, it feels the part, and it certainly performs like a racing car should. You can get this car around the Nuremberg Ring in under 7 minutes easily well under seven minutes for the pp level it's very very competitive especially for tracks which require a pretty healthy mix of acceleration and handling not necessarily top speed but it is a pretty good top speed car anyway and the genesis can sometimes be a bit tricky to handle especially when fully tuned but in the case of this tune it has fantastic handling it's very very easy to use and like I said, it handles as you would imagine a racing version should. Plus with the stock exhausts, it actually sounds pretty cool as well. It doesn't have that generic exhaust sound of the race kit. So if you decide to use this racing style tune for your Hyundai Genesis, I hope of course you find it fun and competitive for the 525 or 518 PP level. And if you're new to the channel and would like to keep up with tunes like this as soon as they come out, be sure to subscribe. And as always... Thanks for watching.